everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Rosie I do lots of crochet on this channel also I'm starting to integrate some more ignore the random baby talk it happens a lot here get used to it but I do do lots of crochet and I'm starting to incorporate more lifestyle type of videos so yeah that sounds like something you might be interested in then go ahead and consider subscribing also y'all I have not gotten so many requests to do something and I just had to do it <laughs> um, so if you guys watched one of my YouTube shorts um, I basically ended up making like a red bucket hat and it was honestly giving like big time strawberry vibes and everyone in the comments started asking for a little green leaf for me to add on the top just to make it like an official strawberry bucket hat and I never have green yarn I swear I have every color almost basically I think except for green so this weekend I finally got to go to the mall and get some green yarn so we're making the leaf we're making the strawberry hat complete anyways I wanted to make this one as a long form video because I wanted to give you guys a little tutorial on the actual leaf itself I did do a tutorial on the bucket hat I'll link it somewhere up here but yeah that is going to be the same um, pattern tutorial that I used for the red bucket hat so if you want to make one and follow along just go ahead and follow this follow this tutorial that I made up here previously and yeah I'll be showing you guys the leaf to be added on the top also thank you guys so much for getting this channel up to 4,500 subscribers honestly it's growing day by day but I can't thank you guys enough and it only gives me so much more motivation to keep posting and even though some of my content like more of the lifestyle type of videos doesn't get as much engagement as my crochet videos it doesn't matter I still enjoy putting it out for whoever might be you know into those type of things so I'm here for it anyways let's get to it all right guys so this is the acrylic yarn that I got from Daiso again each skein is only about 100 yen 100 maybe 200 I'm not exactly sure but um, this is acrylic yarn it is a number four normal weight or worsted weight yarn and I will be using a five millimeter crochet hook I do really love this color they actually only had two types of greens this like lighter one and a darker colored one this is actually like a yellow green I wanted it like lighter vibes to keep it like a vibrant type of bucket hat because the red that I used for the bucket hat is pretty like bright so I wanted to keep it bright you know but yeah let's go ahead and get started on the leaf Alright guys, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and already begin with a slip knot and again, I'm using my 5mm crochet hook. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and start with making a chain of 11. So. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, so now that we have 11 uh, chains, into the 13 from the hook, we're going to make a single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, and then make our single crochet. Alright, next we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, and then in the next stitch, yarn over and then bring it through all three loops so after that we're going to make two double crochets in the next stitch so yarn over into the next chain yarn over and bring it through two loops two loops yarn over into that same chain yarn over and bring it through two loops and through two loops again hold on all right so now that we have our two double crochets into the next chain space we're going to make a treble so yarn over twice sorry I didn't realize I was going all the way over there <laughs> okay so into the next chain yarn over and then bring through two yarn over bring through two yarn over and bring through two all right so now in the next chain space we're going to make two trebles so yarn over twice to the next chain space yarn over 
yarn over, bring through two, yarn over, bring through two, yarn over, bring through two, yarn over twice, and into the same chain, yarn over, bring through two, yarn over, bring through two, yarn over, bring through two. All right, so there we go. And into the next one, we're going to make one treble. So yarn over twice. bring through two, bring through two, and bring through two. All right, so there's our one treble. Now we're going to make two double crochets into the next stitch. So yarn over once this time, and then into the next chain. Yarn over, bring through two, yarn over, bring through two, and then yarn over to the same chain. Yarn over, bring through two, and over bring through two so there we have our two double crochets and next we will make a half double crochet so yarn over into the next chain space yarn over and bring through all three loops now in our last chain space we're just going to make a single crochet so yarn over bring through both of these chain one and then make a single crochet again. So like that. And that basically completes one side of our leaf. Now, if it starts looking like how mine is, a little like wonky, don't worry because once we keep doing the other side, it'll straighten up, it'll look better, trust me. Trust the process. <laughs> Okay, so this chain, this single crochet basically started the next, um, the other side of our other row. So instead of going into that same chain that we did right here, go into the next one and do a half double crochet. So if you're a little lost, this is your single crochet, this is your chain one, and then this is your single crochet again. So then our half double crochet would be into this other loop. And I know it's a little Little hard to see right now but, but you can basically see right here but first yarn over and then bring through all three loops so that's your half double crochet now we're going to make two double crochets in the next stitch so yarn over two and after that now we make a treble Alright, and after that we will make two trebles into the next chain. Alright, just like that. And now again, make a single treble into the next stitch. Next, make two double crochets in the next stitch. All right, and now make a half double crochet. All right, and now we are going to make a single crochet. So this is my leaf and to finish off at the way top, I am just going to make a slip stitch to the final chain up at the top. And there we go. This is my leaf. Now I'm just going to cut and tie off and weave in these ends. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a second leaf and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to my bucket hat. So I'll be right back with a second leaf done. All right guys, so I'm back with my both leaves and honestly, this is the second one that I made and this is the first one. And why do I like this one much better? <laughs> Honestly, I think I did this, the second one, a lot better. Like, it's actually symmetrical, like it's supposed to be. And in my first one, I think I ended up skipping a stitch and doing the pattern, like, one stitch over. 
or one stitch too short so that's why one side it looks a little like you know it doesn't look even but I don't know like I like how it looks like it looks a little more natural you know but here are my leaves and here is the bucket hat now I did make a whole other one this is the exact same pattern that I used for um, my previous bucket hat video and I'll link it somewhere here so you guys can know but the exact same pattern the only thing that I did was um, exactly where you start the brim the increase for the brim that's where I changed the color to green from red to green so if you want to make one just go ahead and change the colors right there or you could even change the color like at the very end maybe whatever you like so to add my leaf so I think I'm going to actually just add it right here at the very top and I think I'm going to add I think I'm going to add the symmetrical leaf over here first and then on top of it I'm going to add the non-symmetrical one so that way it looks a little cuter oh my god okay so let me sew this on and we'll be right back for the results all right, so here we are. The hat is now complete. Look at it. It is so freaking cute. Look, here we have the little leaves, the green border. I think I'm loving it 10 times more now. I cannot wait to actually wear this outside or something. Even for my daughter, this actually fits my daughter. Fits her a little big, but oh my goodness, this on a little toddler is so freaking cute. I'm so happy that I ended up actually doing this. Also, really quick before I end the video, I just wanted to show you guys what the hat looks like from both sides and from the top. It came out so, so cute. So thank you so much to everyone who commented for me to make this into a strawberry bucket hat. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.